light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was so good, and there was evening and there was morning, a fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creature, and let birds fly above the earth across the firmament of the heavens. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves, with which the waters swarm according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, and God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply in the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, a fifth day. Baruch HaTadonai, Eloheinu Melech HaLom, Asher Natan Lanu Tarat Emet, V'chaye Olam Natab Etochenu. Baruch HaTadonai, Noten HaTorah. Amen. Michael, Dad and I feel such pride and joy today as we watch you become a bar mitzvah. When I think back on the past 13 years, I remember all the love and happiness that you have brought into Dad and mine's lives and how you've always made us so proud of you. I remember changing doctors before you were born so that Dad and I could take Lamaze classes together. We wanted to share in your birth. I remember it as if it were yesterday watching you come into this world. Even at birth, you were an easy and considerate child. You arrived even before the doctor got to the hospital. From that very first moment, Michael, we have loved you with all our hearts. Year after year, we have watched you grow into the fine young man that you are today. No one knows for sure what the future holds, but in our hearts, we know that God will be good to you and that your life will be filled with happiness and love and success. Michael, we love you because you are a son, but for much more than that, we love you. We love you for the considerate and loving person that you are. And we thank you for all the hard work and effort that you've put in to make your bar mitzvah possible. You've made us very proud of you, and Dad and I love you very much. Now Michael and Katie will share with us their Haftorah portion, that part of the later writings that corresponds to this week's Torah portion. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher bachar banu mikol haamim Whoops, what? <laughs> oh, okay, I'll start over. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher bachar ben vim tovim v'ratzav adivrahem hane emarim Be'emet Baruch Atah Adonai Habocher Batorah Uv Moshe Abdo Uv Yisrael Lamo Uv Mvie Ha'emet Vatzedech Ko Amar Ha'el Adonai Bore Ha'shamayim V'notechem Rocha Ha'aretz Vesesera no te ne shama lea am aleha veruach la hochim ba. Ani adonai, kratiha vetsede, kratech yadeha, keratarach, meatanach, leave read am lor goyim, leave koa, e naim e vrot, leha seer, me was gay a seer. Mine's up there. Right there. No. Or is it just this to there? Okay. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread forth the earth and what comes from it, 
who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. Hear you deaf and look you blind that you may see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf is my messenger whom I send? Who is blind is my dedicated one, or blind is the servant of the Lord? He sees many things, but does not observe them. His ears are open, but he does not hear. The Lord was pleased, for his righteousness' sake, to magnify his law and make it glorious. Ha hersi he was shabau, the ha ivrim ha bitulirot. Me he ever ki he he mavdi he, for her resh kabal afi yeshlach. Me ever kabal kim shulam, the ever ke emed adonai. For tara bohot velo tishmor, pal koach osnaim velo yishmach adonai. Hafez Lamaan Titsko Yadil Torah Yadir. Baruch Atad Noel Hinamel Halahum Sorko Hohola Mehim Sadipa Hohara Road Ha El Hane Eman Haubevo Say of the Beru Kayahim Shekhaz of Rahav Emet Vat Sedek. Ahatara, Ahavoda, Velhanavim, Velyum Hashabat Hazeh, Shnatatan Lanu, Adonai Lohenu, Lik to Shavel him new ha, Lehavohut Ulti Faret, Ahako, Adonai Lohenu, Adachnu Muli Bach, Marhimo Tach, Ekbreshik Bafiko Hai, Tme Lola Vaehen, Baruchata Adonai, Makadesha Shabbat. Thank you. We rise and return the scrolls to the ark. Okay, so it's a Okay. My portion of the Torah is called Bereshit, which means in the beginning. In this portion, I chanted the fourth and fifth day of creation. On the fourth day, God created the stars, moon, sun, day and night. On the fifth day, God created all the animals on earth. My Bar Mitzvah is a special occasion in my life. I have spent the last four years preparing for this day, and I have learned many things during that time. I feel good when I think about the knowledge I have of the Hebrew language and Jewish history. This experience has helped me to become more mature and to learn to accept more responsibility. I feel confident that I am now able to accomplish anything when I put my mind to it. I'm glad I made the commitment and put forth the effort to have my bar mitzvah. I am glad I had the privilege to work with Katie Miller and her family. They're such a delight to be around. I pray for peace in the world for healthy people and an end to suffering. I pray that I will be able to enjoy all of your company for many years to come. My family means a great deal to me. They are helpers in my life. They show me respect, loyalty, and trust. I think that they are great to be with. I feel so honored that all my relatives from out of town came in to be with me for my bar mitzvah. I'm grateful for all the wonderful things in this world. I'm glad to have known my grandpa Sally and for all the things he taught me about being kind and helpful to people. I wish that he could have been here today, but somehow I know that he is here watching me. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the temple for everything they have taught me in the past and to all my friends and family for coming and sharing with me this joyous occasion.
Even from the beginning of time, religion has affected people's lives. It tells them how to act, how and what to eat, how to spend their free time, how to dress and look, and also what they can and can't do in certain situations. People have fought wars, given up free time, stocked their refrigerators, and even died for this thing we call religion. But what is it? Why is it important? Religion is a way people feel about themselves, other people, and of course God. It is important, even enough to die for, because it gives you something to feel for, feel about, and most of all to believe in. Religions differ so you can choose which one seems to fit you the best. I feel lucky to be Jewish. However, to me, Judaism isn't just a temple, a couple of rabbis, and a Torah. It's an honor. Part of the good feeling is when you can take a sentence written in Hebrew, read it, and be able to say, I did it. Another part of the good feeling is when you are at services and you can keep up with the cantor in the Sidor. Tradition, which our family practices in Sabbath and holiday ceremonies at home, like lighting candles, being blessed by my father, and matzo ball soup, mean a lot to me. And maybe, most of all, at your bar or bat mitzvah, when you are looking at your family and friends and thinking, this is happening to me because I'm Jewish. And it's an incredibly good feeling. I'm grateful to have a supportive family. They've helped me to mature and to achieve. I'd like to say congratulations to Michael Cohen because it has been such fun to share my bat mitzvah with him and because he did a super job. Michael, I told you we'd get through this. <laughs> I want to thank all of you who have traveled a long way to share this with me, and my mother and my father, without whose generosity and love, this dream would have never become a reality. My favorite quote from my Torah portion is, the Yomer Elohim, Yihior Vahior, which means, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. And I hope all of you are bathed in the light of love as I have been all my life. Well, Katie and Michael, I know you are a little bit relieved and, um, and very proud of yourselves, as you should be, for not only the excellent job that you did, but all that went into it, because this is really only a symbol of all that the work and the time and the effort and the commitment to Jewish learning and to Jewish life. Uh, Michael pointed out to me just a couple of seconds ago, Katie, that your favorite part of your Torah portion is written right behind you on the words themselves are placed on our ark, our, our new ark. In fact, and the, the second phrase in those three phrases up there is Yehior. Just what you said is your favorite part. And it's nice that here in our sanctuary, every time you will come into the sanctuary, you will be reminded of your own Torah portion, both of you, knowing that your Torah portion is one of the few represented here on our ark and that shines and talks of light and the knowledge that's symbolized by light and the sense of gladness and joy that's symbolized by light as well. My favorite part of your Torah portion is where it says, Vayomer Elohim Kitov, when it says, and God said, it's good. And God looked at creation and said, it's good. And primarily what was good is what is essentially symbolized by your very, very special Torah portion. What a privilege for you to be able to, on your bar and bat mitzvah, begin our entire Torah, begin the very, the very first word of our Torah. And this scroll that you read from, and this portion that you shared with everyone, primarily talks about the fashioning of order out of chaos, and how our world is based on a sense of rhythm and a sense of order and a sense of justice in many ways that you can count on the world. There's a sense of security in this world of ours and that's what our people were trying to tell us. That however the world was created, it became order out of chaos. And so too, there is an analogy to yourselves and your lives and your growth and your maturity. That there is a sense of emerging order out of the chaos of childhood. There is an, a sense as you mature and grow into your adulthood 
symbolized by this ceremony of bar and bat mitzvah, that you too are fashioning yourselves an order for yourselves, a sense of security for yourselves, a direction for yourselves that is hopefully kitov, that is good, that's, that's a life of goodness and a life of blessing that you can create not only for your family and not only for your friends, but most importantly within yourselves, that sense of goodness, and that sense of knowing that you too, like the beginning of our Torah portion, can take the chaos of the world around us and create a sense of security, a sense of goodness, and a sense of order out of it. And now the three of us will go before the open ark where you will recite for me the words of the Shema, after which I will bestow upon you a blessing, after which your teacher, Shari, will come up and share with you some gifts on behalf of the congregation. <laughs>